In this video, we're going to do a quick demonstration of how to use the Review Spy extension. Uh, as you can see here, we're on Amazon.com. We're going to do a quick search for Ciccone. Uh We're looking for the shoes. And we're going to go ahead and click on one of these listings here. And to activate the extension, um, you're going to go ahead and click on the icon here for Review Spy. And what this is going to do is it's going to import all of the reviews on this listing. And we'll get into why you would want to do that here in just a moment. Um, it takes a little bit for it to, you know, export this into, into our extension. The more reviews on a listing, the longer it may take for it to load. Um, but it's, it's well worth the wait. So as you can see on the summary screen of Review Spy, um, what it does is it, it takes all the reviews and then it'll sort them by size and color. Um, this is really good for variation listings such as shoes, clothing, electronics. A lot of times you go to those type of listings and there's just one rank for all the variations. So how are you supposed to know you know what what the best sellers are you're kind of just taking a guess uh, if it's a low rank that everything sells well um, what this does is you know anybody that's left a review for that product you can now see um, by size and color in this instance for shoes um, how many have actually like you can see which one's most popular uh, basically um, so when you're doing like online arbitrage say you know this size 7 here um, is on sale but so is size 11 I mean this one sold 17 to 1 based on reviews left um, so which one are you gonna pick or maybe you'll you'll buy more of the 11 and less of of the one that's only got one review left for it because it's probably not gonna sell as fast Again, this is just another reference point as far as your research goes. It's it's not you know an exact science. Um, it really depends on you know who's leaving reviews. Obviously, if if you've got a listing that's got several thousand reviews, that's way more data points. Uh, but again, you can do a quick glance just with this data, uh, kind of get an idea of what's moving and what's not, and a lot of people um, go through the reviews anyway and they're manually doing this process so within you know a couple minutes you've got all this data at your fingertips to, to help you make a quicker buying decision um, let's move on to the next feature uh, the review section so this imports all of the reviews again um, but it also you can sort by you know rating or helpful uh, sending descending order you can even export out this table into an Excel file um, so some reasons why you'd want to use this section of the extension uh, is if you are doing private label and say you like to look at all of the the negative reviews that a, a listing gets uh, for your competition when you're thinking about doing a product well you could easily sort by the one stars um, and kind of uh, take a quick look at what some of the negative things are. Uh, maybe you want to make your product better. Um, also, you can sort by verified or not verified reviews. Uh, this will give you a good indication if your competitor is doing a lot of giveaways. You also can do a quick glance here, total reviews versus verified reviews. If there's way more total reviews um, and not a whole lot of verified reviews, Odds are they're doing quite a few uh, giveaways. Uh, another feature of this extension is the words analyzer. You can search feedback for specific trends and reviews. Um, so you can pick how many words and how many occurrences. This, in this instance, it'll be three word string. Um, and it occurs in at least at least four times in all the reviews and you can hit go and you can kind of just go through and see if there's any you know common things here 
another good use um, for this is um, say you've got a private label competitor not only can you use your reviews you also could if you wanted to like type in discount here and hit go and it would bring up how many occurrences of discount because a lot of people that relieve reviews on giveaways or discounted um, reviews they have to put in their review that they've got an exchange for a discount so you could put like discount or exchange for a, gist, uh, a discount hit go it'll tell you how many times or occurrences that happens in the reviews uh, I'll give you another indication of how many giveaways they've been doing uh, another uh, feature is product images so if this were your private label product um, you if and you wanted to, to grab your images say you didn't have them with you or for whatever reason you want just want your images so you can post them somewhere else online maybe on your e-commerce store or on a blog post or something you literally can just click uh, this button for product images and it'll automatically one click um, download all of your product images um, now as far as um, if you're doing giveaways or you've got people that are um, leaving reviews for you if if they do really good uh, images or or videos you can also use this feature where it says customer images and it'll automatically um, download all of your customer images for your listing same with the video reviews uh, if you click that button it'll download all of the video reviews that are left on your listing again the main purpose for these three features is mainly for private label you, you could use it for for other purposes but that's kind of what it was designed for another cool feature uh, the last feature here that we'll go over is the search function so when we started this video we basically went to an Amazon page you don't have to do that you can use this search feature here and then you can just put your ASIN in if you've got a list of ASINs that you want to uh, do this for you can use this instead of uh, going directly to each page and uh, clicking on the icon to start the extension uh, that basically concludes the uh, demo for review spy um, I hope you enjoyed the video